her own announcement. People who have followed the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have patiently waited for the big announcement about who is invited to the big wedding. Even more so, people have really wanted to see who was not invited to the wedding, and it was no shock that the Obama supporting Markle certainly did not have President Trump on the guest list. However, her side piece Barack Obama wasn't on the guest list either. The funny thing about the wedding is that Obama had allegedly tried to get himself an invite. Didn't work. He and Michelle aren't on the invite list either. No matter how hard they tried, they still didn't get added to the list. The Queen rules all and everyone knows that she wasn't going to bend the rules just for Markle or anyone else. The rules of royal weddings appear to be that no political leaders are allowed to attend the weddings. It's not a political event, so there's no need for political leaders to be in attendance. It's a wedding, so the only people who should be invited are friends and family. However, since Obama was a political leader, used the term lightly, he disqualifies from being invited. Too bad, so sad. The joke is on Obama after he tried to get Prince Harry to break the wedding rules of engagement and think they're something special. They're not. The Queen won't let it happen and if anyone tried to break the rules, she would probably make a big thing about it as she doesn't seem like the type that you can pull one over on. CNN reported, a royal source said that, while Harry and Meghan hope to see Barack and Michelle Obama soon, the former US president and his wife would not be at the wedding. The source would not say definitively whether the Obamas, who are close to the royal couple, had been invited. And then later town and country reported more on the Obamas not being invited either. Political leaders will not be invited to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding on May 19th, including Barack and Michelle Obama. It has been decided that an official list of political leaders, both UK and international, is not required for Prince Harry and Miss Markle's wedding, a Kensington Palace spokesman told Harper's Bazaar. Her Majesty's government was consulted on this decision, which was taken by the royal household. President and Mrs. Obama are not coming to the wedding, but the couples look forward to seeing each other soon, a royal source added. In January, royal biographer Duncan Larcom told Town and Country Mag.com that despite Barack Obama and Prince Harry's budding friendship, it would be extremely unlikely that the former president and first lady of the United States would be invited to this year's royal wedding. In December, CNN reported that Prince Harry told the BBC he didn't want to ruin that surprise when asked if he would invite Obama, but Larcom said he was almost certain that the Obamas will not be going to the wedding. Larcom's predictions have now been confirmed. The Obama family has transitioned from the presidential family to being the former presidential family. They will most likely not ever live the true life of a true civilian again. They have security and most normal everyday civilians don't have security around them on a 24 hours per day basis. Anyone who thought they would break the royal wedding rules for the Obama family sure got quite an announcement as the Queen certainly will not allow that to happen. She's old school and follows the rules that were laid out. She won't bend or break for anyone who challenges her with some sort of nonsense. As a former president, Barack Obama should know there are rules that are in place for certain reasons. It is likely a rule that political leaders are not invited to the royal wedding so that it does not have any impact on political standings decisions, or anything related. There are just certain rules that can't be broken no matter who you are. Rules are set in place to be followed and they're often there for a good reason. Every once in a while there's a rule or law where it's challenging, but this one is not. It's not worth it to fill a royal wedding with political leaders, because then it opens the door for accusations of being biased or helping friends in politics. The royal wedding officially takes place on May 19, 2018. It might be televised for anyone who wishes to watch. If not, then be sure to check on social media for pictures of the event. You might not see Trump or his family there, but you won't see any current or former political leaders there either. What do you think about this? Please share this news and scroll down to comment below and don't forget to subscribe Top Stories today.